me voy a matar, te digo, uy, 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 me voy a matar, uy. What's up, everyone? <coughs> What's up, everyone? I just got back from Brick World, Chicago. Chicago! And I have an awesome haul for you here today, so we're just gonna jump right into things. If you can't tell, it's the morning after I got back from Brick World, and I am exhausted. Um, definitely excited to catch up on sleep this week, which will be great. Um, but for now, let's talk about what I picked up in Chicago. So first of all, I got this Lego creation ball uh, from Josh, who goes by uh, the Unhappy Mohawk or Unhappy Mohawk. And uh, uh, honestly, I'm just really excited that he gave me one because I don't think that I could recreate this. It's not as bouncy as you think it would be. I guess maybe a little bit on like a desk, but yeah, anyways. Okay, that's the first thing. Next, we've got this Malort brick. If you went to the speakeasy on Saturday, um, you know about this, you had an opportunity to to uh, to get one of these. It was basically like uh, a shot of alcohol that, as far as I'm concerned, it was basically just gasoline. Um, but you took one shot and then you got the uh, Malort brick. Um, I'll tell you this, it was awful. It was terrible. Yeah, it was really, really bad. We got this sticker from Liz, who is on season three of Lego Masters. Um, she did stickers this year. Uh, I did get one of her sig figs. I believe it was at Brick Fair, Virginia. And uh, she told me that that torso that's on her sig fig um, is discontinued. And it's like $8 for that, for one torso. Uh, so, you know, my, my Liz sig fig, it's probably somewhere around like hundred dollar range something like that no big deal next up we got a brick from Adam who goes by ant bandit and then uh, I also got a brick for my brick badge uh, from shy and you can see there it says shy time is my time this one was cool I I, I think that I, I mostly got this because I was sitting at a Starbucks and I was also hanging out with Dom and Ethan but I got a little coffee mug with a custom print on it from Susan wait where's the Hold, please. Can you see it? Focus! Okay, you can kind of see it. Custom coffee mug from Susan Earls. Oh no! <laughs> from Susan Earls, who was on season two of Lego Masters. And then, last of the trinkets, I got a little uh, tile from Ryan. There's the tile, and then I also got a shirt for his mega store. I was very, very tempted to get behind the counter there and, and, you know, ring someone up for their order. But I didn't want to mess things up, so I decided better not. Next up, we got minifigures and sets and things like that. So, uh, Nicole, who also goes by Girl Bricks a lot, uh, she's getting married next week, which is pretty cool. And so, uh, some of the girls, they put on a, a bachelorette party for her. It was my first time ever attending a bachelorette party. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be... Uh, invited to one again, so it was kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Uh, very interesting. That's all I'll say. I'm not gonna say anything else, but I did receive a 100th anniversary Disney minifig. Um, it's, uh, Pocahontas. Yeah, Pocahontas. There she is with her, uh, her wavy hair. Pretty sweet minifigure. Next up, we got these five custom clone troopers from Micah Nike, I hope I'm saying that right, Micah Nike 18. Uh, he was kind of kind enough to uh, to gift me with these. Um, they're really, really awesome. They've got arm printing, they've got leg and foot printing. Um, so I've got three phase two, two regular phase two, and then one 332nd. As well as, I don't even know what this uniform is called. Maybe it's like their training uniform, something along those lines. And then I also got a 
P1501. Then I also got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Hoth Troopers, Rebel Hoth Troopers. These were given to me by Commander Gray. He also goes by uh, CT10 underscore 994 on Instagram. Um, so these were gifted to me by him for the whatnot auction on Saturday, the charity auction, which was very, very kind of him. Um, super excited for that. And then I also got some stuff from Imperial Brick Productions. And uh, let's pull these out here. Red Skull. Oh gosh, what's her her name? Captain Captain Britain. <laughs> Captain Great Britain. Captain Captain. It's her name. It's not. It's not the country. It's Captain. I'm not gonna remember it. We also have a Minecraft minifigure. That's pretty cool. I don't have any of those. I've never played Minecraft before, so. Then we also have a Darth Vader with the spongy cape and the lightsaber, and he's got the uh, episode six face. And then he also gave me an Eternals, um, not like poly, but it's like a little, little guy, you know? I have to take apart the, the box because it was going to get crushed anyways. Uh, it's at 76145, the Eternals Aerial Assault. So, and you get Sprite and Icarus. There's the box right there. Pretty sweet. So we'll be uh, auctioning this off during the auction as well. I also received a Shaquille O'Neal. This one I was super, super excited about. I love Shaq, um, and I think that the LEGO NBA minifigures are really, really awesome. Um, this was given to me by Scotty, who goes by Bricks and Bionicles, um, right off of his brick badge. Literally took it off and handed it right to me, uh, which was very, very cool. So that will also be at the auction. And then next up, uh, we got from DR, who goes by uh, Rebel Punk on Instagram we got the four bounty hunters from the bounty hunter uh, battle pack which was super super kind of him um, these these minifigures are so cool and of course the boss one is is the most expensive out of the four and then the last minifigure that I got for free uh, is um, I always want to say Scarlett Johansson and then Scarlet Witch. Those are both wrong. It's uh, the ye. Um, Black Widow. Yes, Black Widow. And uh, I got this from TD Bricks uh, Tyler for doing a little little dance move for his video. So I got that for free as well, which is sweet. I've got three Marvel characters for the auction. Oh, no, 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 five Marvel characters, because you got Eternals as well. I, I never I never count Eternals as like Marvel, but anyways. All right, a couple other trinkets here. Trinkets. We've got, um, oh man, I forget what, oh, Goober. I got a Goober from uh, Joey, who goes by Master, Master Model Builder Joey. That's, that's a, that's a mouthful. Master Model, Master Model Builder Joey. So I got a goober finally. I was very excited about that. I got that on the first day. I think this is one of the first, first things that I got. And I also received a smiley phase two Captain Rex head. Uh, this was given to me by uh, Slam Bricks. I forget if he said if he makes these himself or if he just had them to, to sell and stuff. Uh, these three things, by the way, the Goober, the P2 Captain Rex, and then this last thing that I'm gonna show, um, these are for my personal collection. I'm not gonna be uh, not gonna be selling these. And then the last thing uh, that I got was a chrome, look at that, chrome brick separator. I almost like don't wanna use it. I'm afraid that it will chip. Um, and here's a fun little little Easter egg, I guess, too. It's actually the turquoise 
uh, brick separator, which is like on the on the more rare side as far as brick separators go. Uh, but this was given to me by uh, by SM Mish Legaholic, uh, and uh, he was super super nice. We got to chat for a while. He actually ran out of these earlier on in the day, and I'm almost positive he he saved one for me. Um, which was very, very, very kind of him. He also had Chrome Boba Fetts that he was selling for like five bucks, um, which looked really, really cool. But by the time that I had found him, he had sold out of those, so I wasn't able to pick one of those up. That's okay. I got the I got the Chrome brick separator for now, and uh, I would love to expand my Chrome, uh, you know, Lego collection. That would be very cool. Okay. Now time for the stuff that I purchased at the yard sale. Uh, first off, we've got Light Up Mace Windu. I got this from Cool Guy Dom. Um, Dom is a close friend of mine and one of the first people that that ever like reached out to me or found me on, on social media. Um, so he was very, very kind. He gave me a great deal on this. I also got a... Kashyyyk Scout Trooper. Now, I got a good price on this because the guy said that it was sun damaged. I don't know if it's all sun damaged. Yeah, I guess I guess the green is a little tinted. Um, but uh, there he is right there. I, I don't think that you would notice that it's sun damaged if it's standing on its own. You know, if, it's, if it was... Um, next to another one then maybe but it looks fine it's got no cracks it looks really really great um so was super excited about the price of that one and then i also got five minifigures from cm cm brick flips i got three 501st uh troopers if you can see those one is from the new battle pack and then two are from the og battle pack and then i also got two of the Christmas Darth Mauls from him as well. Then I also got two of these ARF Troopers and they they have uh, jetpacks on the back, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, these are also from Rebel Punk who gave me the, uh, the Bounty Hunters, um, but I bumped into him at the yard sale and he was selling stuff and uh, he gave, gave me an awesome deal on these as well. So super pumped about that. Last couple of things here. I never know what to call these, whether it's Scarab Trooper or Short Trooper. Here on the, the label, it actually says Scarab Trooper. Scarab, you can see that Scarab Trooper right there. Um, this is really, really, really awesome, uh, this poly bag. It comes with the, the backing, obviously, and the whole platform with the printed tile and, and the minifigure with a uh, cloth karma. And I got this from Danny Bob. I got this from Danny Bob Studios and the Danny Mob, which I'm very excited about. I think that's an awesome name for her, her, you know, fans, her, her posse, I guess. And then the last couple things, the last two things, these are the big things. I picked up a UCS TIE Fighter. And then also a UCS Star Destroyer. They're just in the bags, didn't get the boxes or anything. They've got the minifigures as you can kind of see right there. And then for the Star Destroyer, I did get the directions as well. Because the seller had the directions. So I've got the directions for um, the Star Destroyer, but like at the end of the day, I'm not really... If they came with a box, that'd be awesome. But at the same time, they're just taking up space. You know, so I'm actually glad that they didn't have the box because it would it would just be more space to store stuff. That is the full haul. Editor Rob here. Um, that's not the full haul. I forgot two things. The first thing is a sticker from Cool Guy Dom, which I do not have. What happened was I was walking by the Lego Master table 
and Dom wasn't there. There was a kid there who really wanted to meet Dom and he was crying and he was super sad and I saw it so I gave him my Cool Guy Dom sticker to try and, I don't know, ease the blow, I guess. Um, did that actually happen? I'll let you decide. And then uh, the other thing that I forgot is a Sig Fig from Maticus. So thank you, Matt. That will go on the shelf along with my other sig figs. Back to the actual video. Video. Uh, lots of minifigures. Basically everything that I showed besides um, the two sets and those three things. Uh, just just the little the little trinkets that I got. Trinkets. From people, you know the the printed tiles from from Shy or Ryan or Adam, and then like the Captain Rex head, the Goober, and the brick separator besides that stuff all of the minifigures they're gonna be for sale on my whatnot auction which is Saturday the 24th um, it is a charity auction so don't come to get great deals come to bump up the prices of random stormtroopers and cheap minifigures um, all of the profits are going to be donated to charity they're all going to uh, give kids the world village which is a village in Orlando um, where kids will stay when they're visiting uh, Universal Studios I was gonna say Orlando Studios Universal Studios or Disney World with uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So the goal is to raise $2,500 for that charity and donate it all to them. So make sure to be there. If you haven't signed up for WhatNot yet, you can use the code um, to get $10 off your first purchase, um, which is basically like a $10 donation. I'm gonna have stuff in the Buy It Now so that you can just buy it um, and don't have to worry about like if you actually win one of the, the auction lots, you can just buy stuff for 10 bucks. Um, in the buy it now so spread the word that would be amazing again the goal is to raise $2,500 for give kids the world village all of the minifigures that you saw in this video are going to be up for sale during that auction along with many 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 others so I'm looking forward to seeing you there thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you like watching haul videos or unboxing videos click the screen right now and I will see you in the next video